All right, so let's get into the program. Okay. We've designed this program in two parts. One part is what do you do in an emergency, and one part is what do you do if someone's bleeding. The first part, of course, is if you're in an emergency, you want to race to care. Race is an algorithm that's built around four principles. First, you got to react to the problem. When we talk about reacting to the problem, we talk about recognize that there's a problem and do something to improve your situation. Don't sit there and go, huh, what was that? You gotta run, you gotta get out of there, you gotta move, you have to realize that the thing's a threat. No Instagram videos? No Instagram videos, put your phone away, get out of the area, get yourself to safety. And while you're getting yourself to safety, call 911. Activate. Pull the fire alarm, Activate that emergency system. We all have emergency response plans in our offices and our schools. This is the time to use them. The other thing about Activate is it's amazing that if you do something productive, if you do something to improve your situation, it often activates the people around you to follow you and do something similar to improve everybody's situation. It's amazing how one person doing a good thing, doing the right thing, can activate an entire group to do the right thing. Absolutely. And it goes into the next step, which is C, care for the injured. If somebody's hurt, there's only a certain number of things that you can do in the time before EMS gets there or before first responders get there to help you. You need to care for them. And we'll go into that more in depth when we get to the care for injured se section. But after you've cared for somebody, now you've got to evacuate. You've got to get out. Get out. Get to help. Help others to help. But don't wait if they're gonna make you a victim. Right. We want you to make sure that you are always keeping yourself safe, your loved ones safe, and do what you can because you're not gonna be able to do everything. No, and once you recognize that there's a threat and you've activated yourself, you've let 911 know that there's a threat, the next thing you have to do is get out. You have to get away from the threat. As much time and distance between you and that threat as possible. And if you can take other people with you, fantastic. But if, don't let them slow you down. Don't let them talk you out of it. Don't let them tell you it's nothing. You've got to get out. This is a this is a no nonsense, down and dirty. Here's the three three or four or five things you need to remember to organize yourself and make yourself make your family make your friends safe, and then help them if they're hurt. For more information on how to care for trauma victims, visit firstcareprovider.org.